Good morning. This is John with the Springs Mennonite Church. And here we are the last day of this week. And the last time I'm going to talk about the 92nd Psalm. And so it's only fitting, I guess, that I'm going to read the last verse. Verse 15. And here's what it says. They will declare the Lord is just. He is my rock. There is no evil in him. Well, the first thing we have to ask ourselves in this passage is, who is the they? Who is the scripture talking about? Well, in order to answer that, I have to back up a little bit and go back up to um, verse 10. And there it says, Lord, you have made me strong as a wild ox. You've anointed me with the finest oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of all of my enemies. And then verse 12 says, but the godly will flourish like palm trees and go strong like the cedars of Lebanon. For they are transplanted to the Lord's own house. Even in old age, they will produce fruit and remain vital and green. So who are the they? They are the people of God whom God has protected and restored into this newer life. Now, if we put that in contemporary wording, the they are those whom God has touched and changed their lives. If you don't think God has touched you, well, then I guess you're not included in this verse. Now, I I want to tell you that if you think God hasn't touched you, he probably has, you just missed it. So to keep it simple, but make it a little complicated, just ask him again. You know, God is always one request. I don't want to say a way, because he never went anywhere. <laughs> He's always one request from you seeing his hands at work. So, if you are one of those, it says, they will declare. Declare means to state as a fact. Now, I know in our political scene, unfortunately, in the last few years, as the press secretary once said, there are facts, and then there are alternative facts. Well, if you heard that phrase, I don't know how that sat with you. But I don't think there are alternative facts. There may be alternative explanations, but they're not alternative facts. An alternative fact is nothing more than a lie. Pure and simple. Now you can spin it any way you want to. It's still a lie. If 10% of the socks you have are bad, then 10% are bad. You can't make it 5%. Now, you can talk about the 90% that aren't. You can reframe the statement, but you still got 10% that are bad. So it says here that they will declare the Lord is, a, is just. He is my rock, and there's no evil in him. Perhaps you have said, I have heard it said, why did God do this to me? Or why did this happen to me? I'm a good person. Well, I have no doubt that you are not a good person. I, I, just recently in the news, there was this lady who drove into a golf cart that was carrying a new bride and groom off, and the bride died, and the husband wound up in the hospital. It's right after the wedding ceremony. And I heard on the news her saying, I'm not like that. Why did this have to happen to me? Well, <laughs> then it goes on and says that her alcohol level was three times the legal limit, and she was driving 
40 miles per hour over the speed limit. Well, in that case, if she can't figure out why it happened, <laughs> she's got a problem. But things happen, and we, we can't blame God for it. My, my cousin's partner is dealing with cancer, just out of the blue. She has tumors. Well, you know, the disciples even asked Jesus, is it this person's fault or is it the parents' fault? And Jesus answered, it's neither. It is something to reveal the glory of God. Now, I don't think that this lady getting cancer is a good thing. But I know people get cancer. And I can't stop that. And it's not God's fault. He allowed for sin to enter the world. And mankind chose sin. Now, it's like Pandora's box. Once it gets out, you can't put it back in. He made a way to get over that by the blood of Jesus' death, his crucifixion. But the problem of sin is still here. So when something happens, I don't deserve that. Well, maybe you don't. But are you suggesting that someone else does? It says here, there is no evil in him. Let me put it another way. God is not trying to destroy you. He's trying to give you life in its fullness. Other things are trying to destroy you. Your habits, your misactions, somebody else's misaction. If I'm walking down the street and a drunk driver hits me and kills me, it's not my fault. I didn't have anything to do with that driver deciding to consume alcohol before they came at me. But I'm still dead. <laughs> that didn't change. But in those moments, in those moments when life doesn't make sense, hear the words of the psalmist. I will declare the Lord is just. He is my rock. The foundation to hang on to is the Lord in all things, at all times, for all reasons. Well, I hope you'll think about that. I hope you've had a, a good week this week. I hope your weekend's going to be fantastic. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to me. If you have a need or a concern, let us know. We'll do whatever we can, as fast as we can, to help meet your need. Thanks for listening again. God bless you. I'll be back on Monday. Start a new topic.